Hi everyone, welcome back to online classroom Jigu Tio. Today Jigu Tio is going to talk about chapter 9, heat. And our topic for this video is relationship between temperature and heat. Try to recall the knowledge of heat and temperature that you have learned in primary school. What is heat and what is temperature? Are they the same thing? They're actually the same or are they different? If they are different, is there a relationship between heat and temperature? Well, heat and temperature are two very different things. However, there is some interrelationship between both of them. Let's, let us look at heat first. What is heat? Heat actually is a form of energy. If you remember from chapter 7, we have looked at a different I mean, there are various different types of energy. So heat is one of them. And one very important concept in this whole chapter 9 is that you have to always remember that heat will flow from hotter region to colder region. It will flow from a place that is hot to cold. Hot to cold. It is very important that you remember this concept. And we can have heat from various sources. For example, the sun, electric appliances, burning of fuel, and so on. How about temperature? What is temperature? Temperature actually is a measure of degree of hotness or coldness of an object. That means it is something that we use to measure how hot or how cold is an object. Of course, it will increase in a hot environment and decrease in a cold environment. We measure temperature by using thermometer. For example, in this season, we often uh, get measured with our body temperature. We use a thermometer, that is temperature. Let us look at a few examples in our daily life. So, what we have here in this picture is someone cooking a pot of spaghetti. So, we are looking at heat and temperature. Let's look at temperature first. In the beginning, this, uh, water, the water in the pot is actually cold, so the temperature is lower. After say 10 or 15 minutes, the water will start boiling and cooking the spaghetti, and now the temperature will become higher because it becomes hotter. How about heat? What is heat here? Remember, Jegutio says earlier that heat will flow from a hot region to the cold region. So let's look at this picture. What is a hot region here? Of course, the fire on the stove. So heat will flow from the stove, the fire, to the pot, to the water. So that's how heat flow from a hotter place to the colder place because in the beginning the water is cold. Next, let's look at this refreshing picture. Any one of you like cold, refreshing fruit juice? I know Jekutio likes it. Alright, how, so how do we normally uh, make our juice cold? Alright, we put the bottles in a tub or a sink or a basin filled with ice cubes. So in this picture or in this situation, let's look at the temperature. In the beginning, the temperature of all these drinks is actually higher because they are not really chilled yet. After a while, say after 30 minutes of putting all these bottles in the ice cubes, you will find that the temperature of the drinks begin to drop because it becomes colder. That is the measurement of hotness or coldness, which is temperature. How about heat? In the beginning, the drinks in the bottles are actually warmer compared to the surrounding that is the ice cube. So remember the key concept? The key concept is that heat will flow from hotter region to colder region. So heat will flow from the drinks to the ice cube because in the beginning the drink is hotter compared to the ice cube. So as heat flow out, the drinks lost some heat energy and hence become colder. And after a while, you will see the ice cubes around it start to melt because heat 
has flowed towards the ice cube from the drinks and also from the surrounding because the surrounding is also warmer or hotter compared to the ice cubes. So here is the summary. This table is very important. The comparison between heat and temperature. First, what is heat and what is temperature? Heat is a form of energy, whereas temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of an object. And second, we want to know what is the unit of heat and temperature. For heat, it is measured in joule. And temperature, it is measured in degrees Celsius or Kelvin. Here, I would like to point out something very important. When you write Joule as a word in full, you spell out the word Joule, J-O-U-L-E, you have to remember to use small letter J. Same goes to Kelvin. If you spell out the whole word Kelvin, let's say it is 200 Kelvin, 200, and you write the whole word Kelvin, K-E-L-V-I-N, you have to use a small letter K because these two words come from names. You cannot use capital letter. However, if you decided to use just the uh, letter J, okay, for example, 1000 J, you need to use big letter. You have to use capital letter. If you want to use K, just the letter K, same thing, you must use capital letter. For example, 250 K. K must be in capital letter. And let's look at the next point. The amount of heat depends on types of materials, quantity of material, and also temperature. How about temperature? Temperature actually depends on the degree of movement of the particles in a matter. All right, so that's all about heat and temperature. So that's all from Jekutio this time. I shall see you in the next video. I hope you understand the relationship between heat and temperature. Bye! If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.